I'm Bob Fiddleman. I'm farming here at Wood Farm at Hemel Hempstead. And it's the end of the Chilterns, which is a very picturesque part of the country. The trial that I took part in was, that, was comparing the conventional growing of the Orsid rape crop against the genetically modified crop. And it, that was the simple comparison that was going ahead and the outcome, as far as I was concerned, that was a benefit for the uh, GM crop because it gave a high yield and it was much easier to manage. We were getting anything from 10 to 15 percent increased yield from the, the GM part of the crop. Given the opportunity, I'd grow it tomorrow. I, uh, it, it, the technology was that good. I wish I could still grow the crop today. They're making exceptions for the UK farmer, which we've got to discuss with them. It is very illogical to turn around and say that this type of farming is, is fine in the rest of the world. We'll be happily importing it, but we're not going to let you take part in it in the UK. So I, as a farming business, are slowly being um, let down and have got more and more difficulty getting back into the situation if and when it changes in the future. And it is when uh, I'm convinced of that. Science is a positive thing, it's a plus factor, not a negative scare factor. You know, you're standing on an XGM site. Where are these super weeds that we were told we couldn't control? It's a nonsense. Uh, and so a lot of the things that were there as scares, I think we've been able to get physical evidence that it's all wrong. Consumers are beginning to say, well, hang on, are we really right to keep this negative attitude?